Boy did I have fun setting up the uh, camera for recording today and uh, I thought it, I was going to say I thought it crashed then. I've had to um, get everything sorted, set up and uh, go from there. The game worked first time in this console and uh, as you can see we're pointing the camera against the TV or in front of the TV so that uh, it can play a bit of Doom I actually managed to, uh, meant to, should I say change the difficulty there to a, a, a lower one um, but yeah, now we're in, we've played a bit of Doom classic game obviously and we're collecting some health bonus there's a, something bit iffy with this fucking controller well, probably because it's uh, not used to kind of being sideways when it's plugged into a console there might be a bit of an iffy connection there so anyway it's gonna fucking keep pausing constantly which is kind of freaking irritating how does the map come up and I'll get rid of that Hey, the fuck? No way, I don't want the map. New start level, see what <laughs> that does. I don't know what happened then, the thing just went schizo. So, let's start again then. The music is uh, is working, I don't know whether you can hear it, it's not very uh, loud in the background. So as you expect, it's doom, um, fast, play, fast paced, fuck me, can't speak today, can't do anything today in fact. Um, fast paced gameplay, um, I did notice on this game that there is a bit of... Uh, slow down and the, uh, when things get a bit busy on screen um, not so much enemy wise it can handle the enemies it's just when there's kind of a bit of a expansive uh, environment so easy enough for the first level um, I didn't find any uh, secrets originally I used to own um, the final Doom and Doom 2 um, pack to the PS1 um, that was pretty much the first game that I ever purchased for my uh, PS1 when I got it for Christmas um, I basically traded in a um, shitload of Mega Drive games um, and I think I got like two pound each for them um, and I basically got shafted um, yeah if, if anybody no, uh, knows Derby it's the um, it was that stall in the Eagle Centre um, and the, the fucking price is a rip off um, I didn't realise you know because I was young at the time I just thought that you know all these games I'm not going to play these games so worthless and I probably ended up trading like 25 fucking Mega Drive games for a couple of PS1 games um, I remember that day I got Doom and I got uh, Soul Calibur not Soul Calibur sorry Soul Blade for the original PlayStation of course um, it's bits like this where you kind of start to see a bit of slowdown as you can see it's got a display all that environment there, a bit too much for the uh, PS1 to handle smoothly um, if you've never played Doom before then um, you definitely need to uh, pick it up it's a classic game um, other games I could recommend if you like Doom are uh, Alien Trilogy um, there's also the um, Dark Forces, the uh, precursor to the, uh, the Jedi Knight series. 
basically, um, if I remember correctly, that game's kind of like, but, well, obviously it's a Doom clone, but if I remember correctly, you can also jump in it. Um, so that's kind of an added bonus. Have I got the, no, I've got the card. I didn't realise I already had the key card. If you don't know um, how you play Doom, you're basically going around looking for key cards to um, unlock the next area. This will be a secret, I would have thought there. A sneaky sniper in point. So yeah, this, um, this it's a good port, I'd say, um, of Doom, this version. It's not the best. Um, but if I... If I remember, um, possibly the Jaguar version of um, Doom is the best console version, but it didn't have any music, um, and really you need the, uh, the music for the atmosphere. And we've got some dudes in the exit elevator. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, so I didn't get any secrets, so that medikit wasn't a secret. I'm surprised at that. Unfortunately, there's no um, there's no save feature um, in this game, and you have to use the, uh, the password system. It was always kind of annoying that um, you know it was generally with the some of the early releases. Um, that they just didn't have memory card support. Um, another one, another game I remember with no memory card support is uh, True Pinball. That was an early release um, pinball game. It would be nice. That, that's probably my uh, favourite pinball game. And you know, it would be nice to be able to save your high scores and whatever. This would be a pretty, uh, pretty scary game back in the day. This, um, if you haven't already checked out Doom Three, um, that's definitely a, a game worth uh, worth picking up. Obviously, it's a lot more um, modern in this game. You know, it's fully 3D. Um, you know, the graphics were kind of spectacular uh, when the game was first released. And uh, obviously it's recently been uh, re-released as the BFG edition on the 360 and PS3. So um, if you want a high def version then uh, pick that up. Shit, got the fucking armour. This game's all about, you know, going around getting the armour. Um, Getting your freaking shotguns and ammo, finding the secrets. Obviously, if you can find the secret areas, they'll have um, you know useful power ups in there. Armor, ammo, fucking invincibility, armor, shit like that. Um, so we're looking for that blue door. And it was, I just caught a glimpse of where the blue door kind of area is. Um, it's not that, that's where we started. Uh, I'll go back through here and see what I mean. Um, or is it? Or it might just be that orb there. Can't exactly remember what that orb thing does. Um, so it might be a secret. What was that? What does that do? And that might open some up here. It's all about, you know, the exploration. Here we go. And, um, fucking might. Fucking skulking around in the dark. Trying to fucking not get killed. That's what Doom's all about. Imagine playing this when you were, you know, 12, 13 in the dark at night you'd shit your pants especially if you had some uh, 
you know, headphones on, kind of desensitising you from the outside world. Um, so, that was the way out. Now we've got the uh, got the yellow key card. Um, can't really remember where there was a. Well, I can't remember seeing a yellow door. It's kind of hard to uh, remember shit when you're talking and trying to make a video. It's not that way. Uh, we'll try through here again. Poison. Um, is rope through here? No. Frame rate struggling there a bit as well again. Um, just saw an enemy down there. We'll try and get down there. Um, yeah, this game you can actually um, get a link cable. I do actually have a link cable. I've got a, an electronics boutique branded one if anybody remembers that shop. Um, and you can, you know, link two PlayStation 1 consoles together and uh, play a bit of deathmatch if you've got two copies of the game. Obviously nowadays, um, if you've got a modded console, a modded PS1, then you know, you'll just burn an extra disc or whatever. I'm dead. So when you die, um, basically, back to the start, old school, you know, that's how it goes in them days. Um, and pretty much that's it, that's it, you know, the format of the game is you just keep going, try and get through all the levels, um, get your password, you know, on to the next level, a bit more difficult, um, you know, more confusing, intricate level layouts, and, you know, it's just a classic game, you know, I'm enjoying uh, playing this now, you know, just mincing around. Um, this game's available on a fucking shitload of platforms because it was so popular, um, you know, Mega Drive, uh, Super Nintendo, um, Saturn, I think. Yeah, it was available on Saturn. Uh, 32X, um, PC, obviously, where it started. And, uh, you know, you can get versions for mobile phones, for tablets, all sorts. So, you're not going to struggle to pick this game up. Um, and I highly recommend it. This version for the PlayStation is a a decent conversion um, but it like I say it does have um, some slowdown issues because it wasn't quite as uh, well I'll say it wasn't quite it was nowhere near as powerful as uh, the PCs at the time so definitely a game worth picking up if you've never played it then uh, you owe it to yourself to play it it's an awesome game very good